What's up guys, I wanted to go over uh, the top six baits that I throw for fall fishing for bass. So we're going to start at the top of the water column and then work our way down through. First one's going to be, first one is Zyra Spook. I'm sure everybody's seen this before. Now Spook, Spooks have great walking action. You can walk them very, very easily and you can get some really awesome blow-ups with a spook. This is the original head-on Zara spook. There's no rattles in it. I think this is a, a bass colored one. That's just uh, my personal preference. Now I'm gonna leave links in the description down below of all of these so if you're interested in any of them you can go check them out for yourself. Now next one another top water one little frog now with these frogs I always cut the little I would call them legs off so they're a little bit shorter I know a lot of times I get what I would call kind of short bites they come up and they grab the leg to pull it under they don't get caught up in the hooks so if you cut these these off they, they have a more of a tendency to come up and really grab the frog itself versus just coming up and kind of short biting it. Now, I'm going to include this next bait in with the hollow body frog. This is a live target sunfish. This, I, I include these two together because they're very similar. They both go across the top of the water. They're both soft, hollow bodies. They just, they have a little bit of a different presentation. Uh, some ponds around where I live, they don't have frogs, or at least you don't hear any frogs. Most ponds have bluegill and sunfish in it. So it's something to keep in mind. You want to match the hatch. So kind of got to pay attention to what's around you. If you hear frogs at night or in the early morning, throw a frog. If you don't hear any, Go with the sunfish. Most ponds have a sun have some kind of sunfish or panfish in them. Now, next bait, we're going to move down the water column a little bit to a moving bait. This is a this is a lipless crankbait. I really like throwing these. They have really good action. You can rip them through the grass real good. These lipless lipless crankbaits have really good swimming action. Really good rattles in them. You get some really good bites on these. Good, very, very sharp hooks. I can't tell you how many times I've had these get stuck in my fingers. But they come through the grass really well, and that's when you get your bite. When you're pulling it through the grass, it kind of gets hung up in you. You rip it through, and you just you get clobbered with them. All right, next bait is a square bell crankbait. These... These are great for, uh, I wouldn't re really recommend them for grass. This is more good for stumps, rocks. You kind of go along, hit a stump, go a little crazy. That's when you get your bite. Um, this one, whatever rattles are in it, they're not really the greatest, but square bow crankbaits, one of the better uh, diving baits that you can throw in the fall. Now for the bottom or the deeper part of the water column, I would throw jigs, black and blue. Uh, this is like a green pumpkin one. Uh, depends. You want to use a black and blue one for dirty water, and you want to use the green pumpkin one for clearer water. You can also uh, put a soft plastic on the back of these and kind of give them a meteor look, some kind of like a crawl soft plastic or something like that. Uh, you want to match the soft plastic with the jig. You want a black and blue or a black soft plastic and you want a green pumpkin, watermelon red color thing going on for the green one. And the last bait is another bottom kind of bait, uh, Sankos. When can't you throw Sankos and it catches fish? Maybe the winter time, but uh, I stick with the basics. This is uh, black with blue flake, and I believe this is green pumpkin with red flake, I think. But uh, again, black 
for dirty water, green for clearer water. It's really quite simple. And that's it. That's my six baits that I would recommend for the fall. Uh, let me know what you think. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for me. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.